Hello, hello everybody. What is going on? It is into MCA. As always, I told y'all um, I would get Aries all through Aquarius readings done. So this is only for Aries. If you're not Aries, please go watch other signs. Um, if you are Aries, then these messages are for you. Like I said, this will only be for Aries sign only. As always, a little bit of purification spray. I will be drinking some water through the readings, just so y'all know. My Starbucks cup. So, as always, we're going to start off with the Oracle of the Unicorns, and then we're going to work our way around this. So, let's see what Spirit has for the beautiful Aries today. Y'all, it's almost my birthday. Two more days. Ah. All right, Spirit. What do you have for the beautiful Aries today? What do they need to know when it comes to messages please spill the tea please do not lie to us about these messages please be honest about these messages what do they need to know right now at this very moment for the beautiful aries let me two messages for it sorry for the glare you guys look baby they gave me a whole stack that was so much information i'm trying to mitigate the glare but i need light in here too y'all like i want it too dark okay so we got two cards here we go Look, we got anger and sanctuary. So I don't know who you're angry towards. We're finna see. And we got sanctuary. So these are the two cards that we're gonna work around. All right. And I feel like a lot of y'all could be angry towards past people. Y'all could be angry um, about things that aren't going your way. Cause you know, Aries, we like shit quick, you know? And I understand that that's me, but sometimes we gotta slow down with this anger card. So maybe your anger isn't towards people, it's just towards things that are happening around these people. And you're always like, why is there always so much like uh, chaos, you know? And we got sanctuary. So Spirit said, find a sanctuary within this. But with this moon right here, I feel like there is some stuff that is kind of hidden. You might be dealing with the water sign, Cancer, by Scorpio, or Taurus, Virgo, or Aquarius. Take time out from the world. Spend more time alone. Meditate or go on a retreat. And that's so funny how this anger also popped out. So maybe you are angry because you don't have no time for yourself. And, you know, you're spending too much time on everything else. You know, looking left and right areas. You know, you need to stay focused right now, baby. Anger. Safely express your anger. Use anger as a positive force. Honor all your emotion as sacred. Especially when you're angry, don't be angry. Put that anger towards something else. Because everyone has um, their anger in them, but it's how you use it. How you use their aggression. Are you going to use it to get more mad and more stressed out? Or are you going to use it towards something positive? All right, Aries? Mm -mm. Okay. So now let's get the um, the Divine Goddess deck. I love this deck, y'all. I know I always tell y'all this deck is the truth. Look. Spread your wings. First say you got to spread your wings, Aries. Look. Oh my God. What has also come out in the middle? So I don't know who wanna spread their wings. Could be you or your person, but or a person. But we're gonna see spirit. What's going on for the beautiful Aries? What do they need to know at this time right now? Please spill the tea. Please be honest about these messages. Please do not lie to Aries about these messages. What do they need to know right now? I don't know why they're angry around your birthday season, but we're gonna see. What do they need to know right now, spirit? What do I need to know about the sanctuary card? Look, baby. Putting in that work. Because y'all putting in that work and spirit sees it. And it might not happen as fast. Some of y'all, y'all might want to be engaged or married. Or you might want to move somewhere. But spirit said, we see you putting in that work. Don't worry. You will reap what you sow. But you also have to balance the scales. Like you can't just be work, 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 work. And no time to like chill. Like everyone has time for themselves, Aries. Action that help achieve goals, building the path to success. So you definitely are on the right path. You just have to relax, Aries. That goes for me too. What about this angle card? What's going on? Woo, baby. This card also popped out too. But this one hit the um hit the table. Be open to change. And it came out in the reverse. But look, y'all manifesting something. Y'all definitely celebrating. Because, you know, it is Aries season. So y'all could be celebrating your birthdays. 
or celebrating some, some new income or celebrating a new beginning. I don't know, but the spirit said be receptive to new experiences. Change leads to growth. So maybe a lot of y'all have anger because you're seeing other people change and be open to this, but you're not right now. Because a lot of y'all could be fearful that some people could try to hurt you, Aries. But not all people are trying to hurt you. Some people do have your best interest, but you're angry because maybe, you know, you're not trying to take the lead right now and you're trying to follow. But Spurs said, no, no, you can't be doing that. You are the leader, Aries. You know, you're not a follower. And Aries was never meant to fucking follow. You're a manifester. You got this, Aries. So get out your head. Stop thinking that everyone around you is trying to harm you because that's not the truth. Some people are, and you won't find out who. Hmm. With that moon card back there, baby. So let's get right into it with the tarot. Which deck do I want to use? I haven't used this one in a minute. I'm trying to switch it up, guys. I'm not trying to like use all the same decks all the time because I do have options out here. So I'm getting some more soon. Just, just wait for me now. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what? Do my beautiful Aries need to know right now, Spirit, when it comes down to these messages? What do I need to know? What do I need to know? Look, the Tower and the Six of Pentacles. So something is about to be, be like dropping. I don't know what's about to be coming out. It could be some good news or bad news, but I don't know what's going to be coming out because, you know, Aries, look, Two of Cups, Six of Pentacles. I don't know who, who's trying to come towards you or what's trying to come towards you, but you're going to be having a tower moment. And look, and the justice, baby. Y'all going to be getting some kind of justice when it comes down to something. But trust and do believe. Spirit ain't playing with somebody right now. Spirit is not. So what does my beautiful Aries need to know right now, Spirit? When it comes down to the messages that you need to know at this time. What do they need to look? The five of fucking pentacles. <laughs> Someone is scared. Or maybe this is y'all with that anger card. Five of pentacles. Y'all trying to keep like, like someone's afraid that you might abandon them or you be afraid that uh, someone's going to abandon you. But Spirit said, this is all in your head. This really is. Because you're definitely afraid because this, this person in this car is like trying to back away. So I don't know if you're trying to back away from um, people who make you angry, which is perfectly fine. But I feel like Five of Pentacles, you're trying to take like a risk. What is this? Look, the Ace of Wands. And that's the truth. And a lot of y'all could be chameleons, Aries. Look, in the fucking moon. Didn't I tell y'all with that moon? It, something is fucking hidden. Something is definitely being hidden. I was not lying. A fucking, uh, we got Pisces and Taurus energy and Leo energy, baby. Could be a devil. Because you see how this moon card is like, it's got like this beast. So maybe you're trying to beat the beast inside of you, Aries. I don't know. But Ace of fucking Wands, a lot of y'all are definitely change, trying to be open to change. Because you know how chameleons change their colors when they're in a different environment? So this could be y'all, Aries. And Spirit said, that is the truth. A lot of y'all are going to be changing your perspective on certain people and individuals. And how you look at things and how you used to think. But yeah, I told you with that moon card. I knew the moon card was going to come out because I seen moon energy. Look, the devil in the reverse. And you're not letting no toxic people fuck around with you. Spirit said, you are fucking protected. I don't know what's hidden. Look, five of wands. We got two fives out here. So someone definitely want to come in and try to fight for something. I don't know if it's you or somebody, but someone got this Leo energy coming towards you. And it could be around Leo season. And we also have a Virgo out here. But I don't know who this devil is trying to, um, like, come towards you. But Spirit said you are divinely protected. Highly, Aries. Highly. Anything else, Spirit? Look, King of Cups. This is King of Cups. Squ uh, Squarius. Sorry, I said Squarius. <laughs> My dumbass. Aquarius, Scorpio, or Libra. This person, they want to come in. I feel like this person has been trying to fight their inner, like, self. Like, when I say inner self, I don't know, inner self for some reason. Maybe this could be y'all. But this person want to come towards you because they could see you changing and they don't like that. Look, king of fucking swords. They don't like that. They see you changing 
for the better. And a lot of these other people around you, Aries, they're like, why do they get the stuff that they do? Or how do they get the stuff that they do? Because you worked hard for it. The Spirit said, you got a King of Cups coming. And this Nine of Swords, whoever this is too, I feel like you got... You got two options, but I don't feel like you're going to take the first one with the Sun in the verse two and Nine of Cups in the verse. I feel like this Nine of Swords is the player. And you know who this person is. And that's why I feel like they're still hiding stuff from you. And maybe this is why you keep switching up on this person or changing in front of them. And they don't like that. But the King of Cups is out here. But you are going to have to be open to change because a new person is definitely coming into your energy, Aries. It don't have to be a lover. It could be a friend. Anything on spirit? I'm not trying to make the videos too long. Look, baby, king of fucking wands. I told you. Oh, you got a, you got an Aries. You got a, a, a Leo and a fucking Cancer. And whoever this this new person is, oh baby, they're gonna be spiritual. They're gonna be down on earth. They're gonna be so divine. And it's not gonna be showing to you. It's not because the moon is still in the back of this. So it, it's really hidden with this moon core. But I feel like somebody around you is going to come in towards you when this new person comes towards you, energy, um, Aries. And it could be a Gemini or a, a Taurus too. But this person is definitely hidden. Hitting high in the background. I'm telling y'all. And it don't have to be so. It could definitely be someone old. Or if this is a person that you just started talking to. And then you just decided to cut off. Because maybe they was doing too much Aries. I don't know. But this person is seeing you change. Right in front of your eyes. And it's kind of fucking with this person. Because maybe in with the devil in the verse. You, you let go of the ass. Because they may have been toxic. But this new person. Oh yeah. They coming in. Mm -hmm. They coming to take charge. <laughs> And change your life. Look, eight of fucking pentacles and the sun in the upright. And I told you this Knight of Cups is not happy about it. They are not. Look, this person is fucking heated with the sun card. Fucking heated. They are mad that you're changing and they don't like this. Eight of Pentacles, but they do want to come in and offer you something. But I do feel like right now they kind of feel dead about the situation because there there is a zombies in here. So maybe this person is trying to follow their heart, but they just don't know if you want them. But like I said, Leo season could definitely be significant right here, Aries. It definitely could. And this person is still being a player. I hope y'all know that your past person, they got a lot of passion for you. A lot of passion, but baby, they, they, they ain't trying to like let you go because they still got feelings for you, believe it or not. Believe that shit or not. Come on, more cards here. Uh-uh. Lord, the world in the reverse. And the goddamn judgment. <laughs> I'm over it. Spirit said, look. Spirit is telling y'all to have a judgment call. Because when it comes down to this person, are, are you so sure about this? Because I feel like everything in their dynamic is being rocked. And it's not going well for them with the world in the reverse. And Spirit said, you need to have a, a real judgment call. And it's coming to a theater near you, Aries. I'm telling y'all. Just saying. So, we're going to get the uh, the love oracle cards. And that's going to be it. Let me see. Spirit. What does Aries need to know at this time when it comes down to your reading? But I feel like you, you are going to have a past person and new person come towards you. What's going on with my beautiful Aries? What's going on? My beautiful Aries. Look, stabbed in the back. Someone definitely fucking betrays you, Aries. Or maybe this person feels betrayed. Heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shocking, and attack. This person definitely did shock you. Well, a lot of shit they did from your past. But now it's your turn. I'm not saying you have to stab them in the back, but I don't feel like a lot of you are going to want to mess with your old person. And if you still got phone for the person, I don't feel like they've changed just yet. Mm-mm. Because they still in that um that player energy look, and we also got separation in the reverse, baby. I told y'all with that passion card, it's just passion. This person don't want to be separated from you. They are missing you, but I don't feel like it's like dire kind of like actions. Like this person wouldn't die if they didn't have you. Look, but mm -mm -mm. like it kind of it came out in the reverse when the upright this person like. It's already separated from you. And in the reverse, that means they don't want to be separated from you. So I don't feel like this person wants to be separated from you no more. Like, they hate that shit. Look, heartbreak, heartbroken reverse. And they don't want to break your heart, but 
It's up to you, Aries, if you want to deal with this person. But Spirit said choose wisely because they might not have your best interests. All right, Aries? So I hope y'all enjoyed the messages. Remember my name in the end to the MCA. And remember, guys, this is only a general message for the Aries. So please don't take anything if it don't resonate. If you need paid personal reading, they're available for today and tomorrow. But Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, they're all. Please do not also try to get a reading on a holiday. Get it before or after a holiday. Remember that all 10% off is on my Etsy shop. Um, I still have to activate it because it hasn't been activated in a minute. I've been making some changes, Aries. As always, like I said, much love and grace to all and have a good day. Goodbye.